All right, I decided to help Puffin explore the house a little bit more and once again put her out here where she normally seems to want to go. So welcome to a series called Five Minutes with My Animals where I follow an animal around for five minutes straight. Let me get started, starting now. All right, Puffin usually wants to go through the door to this room if I let her play in my office room. However, when I opened the door, she just kind of ran around the room like normal. So I'm gonna put her out here and just see what she does. You're not going in the litter box. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> she doesn't have as much traction out here. <laughs> Let's go over to the kitchen. Oh, you're flying, I'm sorry. You're flying. Oh my goodness, look at, how, look at how flat she is. She's like danger from above. Cause I just picked her up, she's fine. <laughs> You are in full sploot mode, aren't you? Are you a sploot? What a cute sploot. It's hard to tell their body condition um, by their belly because they can change the shape of it so much. I mean, they can completely flatten themselves. Most of us call it pancake mode. Sploot is kind of the cute term for like when their legs are all splayed out like that. There's nothing wrong with them, though. She's just doing that on purpose. They're from Australia, um, where it's kind of, you know, reddish and rocky and sandy and stuff in a lot of parts. So if they flatten themselves in the wild, one, that gives them less vertical, you know, space for a predator to get them, but it also makes them blend in with their surroundings a little more because their back would be pretty camouflaged. She might be what's called a hypo, which is hypomelanistic, which means less black pigment than most. She's obviously not albino. She has some black, but um, I, I wasn't told her more for anything. I don't know if her previous owner knew. Her nails are not fully black. They're kind of a lighter color. Um, and just the pattern on her, the, the main color of her. I don't know. So she might be hypo. So she might be a little lighter than a wild bearded dragon in Australia, but she still would be pretty camouflaged. All of that just to explain the flatness, the flat behavior. Also, clearly she doesn't get as much traction out here. The last two videos I filmed of her out here were really funny because she was really trying to go and she just kind of couldn't. Um, there wouldn't be anything this slippery <laughs> in the wild. Oh, Puff, you're gonna go into like the dirtiest corners of my house and I'm gonna have to like put that online. I mean, I don't have to, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get her out from under the table. This can only lead to bad things. Yeah, it can only lead to bad things. You're flying again. I'm sorry, I should support you more, I know. Here, go on the carpet, even though I kind of Part of my idea to put her on the, like, kitchen floor was that if she pooped, it's easier to clean. <laughs> um, if she poops on the carpet, it is not as easy to clean. But she's so cute on the stairs that I'm just going to see what she wants to do. You may, I, I don't even remember from just now, you may have seen me kind of grab her from above. I then try to support underneath. Um, bearded dragons are going to be very wary of anything that comes from them, comes for them from above. Like, you know, your hand looks like a giant predator claw. Um, I've had this dragon for, a lo you know, not a long time, but since mm, 2022, I think. Yeah, late 2022. So she knows me. We have, you know, a rapport. Um, they don't kind of get attached or love people like cats and dogs do so don't be expecting that from your dragon but you know most people that have dragons will swear that they do feel some kind of affection or just you know it's more recognizing their handlers than uh you know emotional attachment but who knows in their little lizard brains not an insult so you just flicked your tongue there that's actually how they smell things 
They will, just like snakes, they pick up the scent particles on their tongues and put them in a um, organ that humans don't have called a Jacobson's organ that's in their heads. Their big blacky heads to process smell. So she will flick her tongue at the floor. She will just flick it wherever because she's trying to figure out what's going on. Hi, Hudy. Just like that, see? Yeah. If she wants to come down, that's fine. We're over five minutes, but I'd like to see you jump down the stairs like you did before. It was very cute. Very cute. I do trim her nails if they need it. Um, when I last checked, they didn't really need it. She does a pretty good job of filing them down. We have a whole variety of things to climb on with occasional uh, <laughs> trips outside the cage to just do what she wants. Oh, it's so cute! Hold on, let me zoom out because you're going to do it again and it's so cute. <laughs> They're a little frog! Oh my goodness. Okay, you can climb on the shoes again. I'll follow you a little longer and then we gotta go back in the office, okay? What a cutie. It's just interesting watching the choices they make, you know? All right, I hear someone Skyping me, so I'm gonna go. Um, actually, no. Uh, thanks for watching Five Minutes with My Animals. I have a whole bunch more. Um, we have six animals at the current time, so um, there's a whole variety. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this. YouTube will tell you. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.